What is Juneteenth? On June 19, 1865, about two months after the Confederate General Robert E. Lee surrendered at Appomattox, Virginia, Union General Gordon Granger arrived in Galveston, Texas to inform enslaved African Americans of their freedom and that the Civil War had ended. General Granger's announcement put into effect the Emancipation Proclamation, which had been issued more than two and a half years earlier on January 1st, 1863 by President Abraham Lincoln. This sobering fact makes the holiday complicated because Juneteenth acknowledges the notion that while some black enslaved people were granted freedom at the issuance of the 13th Amendment in 1863, nearly 200,000 remained enslaved for quite some time after the ratification. The Juneteenth holiday received its name by combining June and 19. The day is also sometimes called Juneteenth Independence Day, Freedom Day, or Emancipation Day, and commemorates the end of slavery in the United States and has been celebrated by African Americans since the late 1800s. Juneteenth honors the day the last enslaved people found out they were free. By choosing to celebrate the last place in the South that freedom touched, which was Galveston, Texas, we remember the shining promise of emancipation along with the bloody path America took by delaying it and deferring fulfillment of those simple, unanticipated words in General Granger's original order number three, which was, this involves an absolute equality of personal rights and rights of property between former masters and slaves. These are words that establish equality for all and rights that, in America at least, we name and defend. But in recent years, and particularly following nationwide protests over police brutality and the deaths of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Namad Arbery, and other African Americans this year, there is a renewed interest in the day that celebrates freedom. George Floyd, a 46-year-old African-American man, died while he was pinned to the ground by a police officer. The public reaction to George Floyd's death has been forceful, spontaneous, across the political spectrum, and from coast to coast. What is most striking about this reaction are the voices bearing witness that George Floyd's tragic death is far from an isolated incident, but part of a long history of racial violence and discrimination. Therefore, Juneteenth can be seen as both a celebration of the freedom from enslavement, as well as a remembrance of oppression. Perhaps it is somewhere in the middle where hope can be found, on the pendulum, somewhere between great pride and great anguish. Arizona's Juneteenth celebrations have a long history as well. In the early 20th century, state and local laws mandated segregation in schools and public services, even in Arizona. For many decades, African Americans could only use East Lake Park on Jefferson and 16th Street. So beginning 100 years ago, East Lake has been home to many Black cultural and civil rights events, including Juneteenth celebrations. The park has been renovated and is now East Lake Community Center, still an important site and monument for Black Phoenicians. South Mountain Community College faculty, staff, and students have taken part in Phoenix Juneteenth activities since the 1980s. Our students have performed and celebrated in the city's Juneteenth celebrations. And in 2007, we played an even larger role. While East Lake Park was undergoing its renovations, the Black community found themselves without a site for Juneteenth events. So SMCC opened up the campus to more than 6,000 community members for that year's Juneteenth. In cities across the country, parades, festivals, and consortiums 
on black culture have been established over the years to shed light on Juneteenth. However, despite a push by activists over the years, Juneteenth still isn't federal, a federal holiday. On the other hand, we have seen and or heard in recent weeks, corporate America's views on Juneteenth change, using the day for celebration, education, and connection. For example, Nike's CEO told workers they would get Juneteenth off starting this year as a way to celebrate Black culture and history, using this time to educate themselves and challenge their perspectives. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell, who earlier this month said that the league was wrong to not listen to football players who have been protesting police brutality since 2016, wrote in a note last Friday that its offices would close today to recognize Juneteenth as a holiday. In the memo, Goodell writes, the power of this historical feat in our country's blemished history is felt each year. But there is no question that the magnitude of this event weighs even more heavily today in the current climate. The social media giant Facebook has chosen to commemorate the ending of slavery in America with a day of learning. A Facebook spokesperson said the company will cancel all meetings and instead use this day to engage in conversation about the history, experiences, and issues that Black Americans still face in the United States of America. We acknowledge in the 155 years after the emancipation finally reached slaves in Galveston, Texas, the nation is still struggling with the issues of systemic racism and injustice. It is true that we have made enormous progress that we can and should be proud of, but we need to hear what George Floyd's day, death on Memorial Day said, and our reactions are saying. They are saying that this nation must undergo systemic changes to see justice embodied in our society at all levels. They are saying that to be just in all matters. They are saying honor black lives as much as any other. They are saying not one more name added to this list of deaths that did not get just or due process. They are saying black Americans are supposed to be able to walk free, jog, play, sit, sleep, breathe and eat. They are saying black history is American history. So make it part of the whole story. They are saying enough is enough. It is a long and painful history, which is, it makes it harder to hear and a dark and confusing time, which makes it harder to see how to move forward. But as SMCC family, we owe it to our community. We owe it to George Floyd to join together and to bring light that can illuminate the way ahead. SMCC celebrates Juneteenth.